Hello, my name is Xie Wei Yi. Today I would like to present uh, my work on deep clustering activation maps for emphysema subtyping. This project was supervised by Colin Jacobs and Bram van Hineken, and we are together from the Radboud University Medical Center. First, uh, I would like to introduce the motivation of this work. So emphysema subtyping in CT is to group subjects according to the visual assessment on their CT scans possibly with quantitative imaging features. On the right side, you see two cases of emphysema, uh, where the emphysema can be seen as those uh, low intensity regions uh, representing air trapping caused by the emphysema. The traditional way of uh, defining subtyping systems were based on the location or the severity of the emphysema, but this, way, uh, this approach uh, were not data driven. Uh, they were heavily based on the prior knowledge of the emphysema characteristics, therefore they may not suffice to capture the disease heterogeneity. In this work, we propose to use a deep learning-based clustering approach for finding emphysema subtypes. Our approach is based on a deep cluster framework, which is training, uh, alternating training between two steps at each epoch. Step 1 is to extract features. At the step 1, the feature extractor is freezed. After feature were extracted, we use standard k-means to find the clusters, and then we use the cluster assignment and suit labels to train uh, both classification network and the feature extractor at step two using backpropagation. And the last function for step two is basically standard classification cross entropy loss, where this uh, reference label yn is given by pseudo labels. And to, in order to get good performance, we have to apply those tricks. One important trick is to do the balanced sampling because k-means never guarantee to give you a balanced cl uh, cluster assignment. And this is our uh, feature extractor, which is basically a 3D unit. Uh, we use dense features for classification training, uh, which is different from the standard approach. People use the feature at the lowest resolution uh, from VGG or ResNet for training classifiers. In our case, we use long marks to pull these dense features, in this case, into a 64 dimension feature vector as input to the classification head. After that, we can apply so, uh, standard cross entropy training. After training, we can visualize uh, the cluster uh, assignment decisions by Skipping this pooling layer, directly use dense features and input to the classification head. There, therefore, we can uh, produce a, a dense class activation maps. In our result, <coughs> we compute a silhouette coefficient, which is a, a distance a matrix measuring both inter and inter cluster separations. Um, we Compare with the baseline, which is approach using uh, features at the lowest re resolution from the unit 3D, where the proposed approach uses dense features. Uh, the silhouette coefficient for proposed approach went from uh, at the beginning 0 0.23 to as high as 0 0.55, representing a moderate uh, uh, cluster separation. Also, uh, we compute the cluster accuracy, which is a measurement uh, checking the alignment between cluster uh, assignment and the uh, predefined subtypes. In our case, we let a radiologist to uh, annotate each scan into one of the six subtypes representing emphysema severity. So one means uh, non-emphysema presence, presence, and one to five indicating increasing level of emphysema. Uh, the cluster accuracy we reach 0 0.43 in the pro proposed approach, which is slightly better than the baseline approach. Uh, in the end, we we'll want to conclude our work. We present a fully data driven approach for emphysema subtyping on chest cities data based on deep cluster framework. We propose to use dense features so that later we can. Uh, visualize the cluster assignment decisions in high resolution using class activation map tricks. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Thanks.